Man, I got a fucking wedgie, bro. Like, all this jumping around this goddamn leather seat. What the fuck? Tired of pulling so many packs to get nothing you wanted? Check out MuttStore.com for cheaper, reliable Madden 17 coins and use promo code GPH for 10% discount off your order and get the player you want. No homo, but I wasn't gonna lose because I wasn't gonna submit for no views. You see me if you see me. Hey, what's up guys? And we are back with some more Madden 17 Ultimate Team gameplay. And today we will be testing out 95 overall season stars Devontae Adams. Now let's go ahead and compare him. 95 overall to 98 overall. It's not kind of fair, but he is six foot one. 93 speed, 91 catching with 83 elusiveness, 95 spectacular catch. I did not expect that, to be honest. 90 re release with 90 route running, 94 catching traffic, and 93 jumping. So this card looks pretty good, man. I don't like the route running on it. I The catching traffic is good. The release really doesn't matter in Madden. Um, The spectacular catch is great. I didn't expect that from Adams. And everything else is good. But we're going to go ahead and start him at number one. We will continue to test out Melvin Gordon for this video as well. And we did get Ben Jones limited time. So we have the highest overall at every single position except for quarterback. And that's because we choose to stick with Michael Vick over Tom Brady. That's a, They're both 99 overall, dude. Um, but, you know, Tom Brady's an, a real 99 overall. And because of chemistry, Mike Vick becomes a 99 overall. But here's the defense, so you guys can take a look. Um, I was thinking about getting Charles Haley, but then, like, I, I don't know, man. I feel like I really like Khalil Mack, and he always puts in work for me. So I think we might keep him. But, you know, just for, like, new card's sake, I was thinking about getting um, Charles Haley and keeping him and then selling Khalil Mack. And they're both the, the same overall, and Charles Haley is cheaper, so... Like, a lot cheaper, by, like, 600k cheaper. So, I, I, I don't know, man. You guys let me know how y'all feel about it. But y'all know, man. Y'all know me! I ain't gonna leave you guys like that. We are also gonna be giving away Devontae Adams in this video. All you guys gotta do is make sure you are subscribed. Click that like button and also comment down below with your PSNs. And I will be picking a winner very soon. I appreciate all the support, man. This is the way I can show it by giving back to you guys. Thank you for watching my videos, liking them, commenting, subscribing, all that shit. This channel is starting to take off and it is all because of you guys, man. Thank you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this game. All right, guys. So we are starting out on offense. I'm going to try and run some blitzes that I usually would run. Oh, there you go, Jadeveon Clowney. I'm going to try and run some blitzes that I know work for the most part in this 3-4 defense. Now, we went back to um, Ravens on offense, and I usually run Bills on, on defense, but I'm going and I'm going to be testing out the Ravens on defense because I heard there's a lot of blitzes that don't work. And for the Ravens defense, they have the 3-3-5, and I really like that formation. And I feel like it does well against the run and the pass. So if my blitzes don't work, I'll be trying to learn a new um a new defense in this four um this three three four defense as Willie Brown just laid that tight end out. Come on. There you go. Everybody locked up, boy! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, nice ju- Oh! Yo, he put the moves on me, bro. I thought he was covering him. All right, we're going to try and send that same pressure, but this time on the left side. On on the right side, I mean. Oh, delay. Let's go. We're there. Yo, I told you guys, man. The 335 does a very good job stopping the run and stopping the pass. So we're going to be trying some blitzes out of this formation. Let's go. Come on, everything's locked up! Oh! You dropped the pick! That was a big six, Khalil Mack! What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? All right, so we, we ended up stopping him. He got that one huge pass play, and we ended up stopping him, holding him to a field goal. That's a win for our defense. It's, we're we're kind of getting used to this patch on defense. Let's see if we can um, step up on offense, because we did so terrible our first game with this new patch last game. Alright guys, so like I said, we're going to try and run the ball a lot more. 
And we're also going to keep Gordon in the game. Look at that, man. I'm liking this already, man. We're going to try and keep Gordon in the game to test him out. He was in a nickel um, formation right there, and he didn't do well against that run. I hope this continues because I, I, I honestly am tired of people stuffing my run in nickel and dollar and quarters and dime i'm tired of it because it's so unrealistic you have like 17 dbs on the field you should not be able to stop my jumbo set or what have you you know what i mean my heavy running formation you should not be able to do good against it so we're gonna try and run to the left side right here look at the run right yo look at the blocking i'm loving it bro all right this is nickel yet again we're running the stretch Yo, my, the defensive end got double teamed, right? My fullback was a cunt, and he didn't block the cornerback, which I could have bounced it outside if he would have made that block. He was just, like, I don't know why he was, like, slacking behind, or he was just, like, looking at me, like, hey, what are you going to do? I don't know why he was so confused, but I could have gotten way more yards on that if it wasn't for my shitty blocking. Well, the guy, the defensive end getting double teamed and my fullback not blocking the cornerback. Besides that, all the blocking was actually good on that play. <gasps> Holy shit. Was that a block shed or an edge heat? I, I, don't, I don't know. There you go. That's a good punt. Night Train, get your ass down there, bro. No! No, Fumble! Yo, that's Night Train Lane! That's like 93 hit power. No, he just caught the ball! Come on, I just want you to pass. And there he has. Boom! Ah, good D, guys. I want to see, without him passing the ball very quickly, I want to see how, if, if that blitz can come in. Because it usually, out uh, of 3-4 odd, uh, that shit would come in screaming if he doesn't block it properly. But I just want to see if it does come in. Run the ball? He's not running. He's not running right here. Play action. Oh, he is running! Fuck, man. <laughs> Alright, we are gonna pass commit. I don't give a fuck right now. We are pass commit. He's not gonna run again. Let's go! Send the pressure! It's a fumble! JJ Watt with the scoop and score! And that's a touchdown! Come on, baby! Alright, guys. So, I mean, it looks like he did a good job blocking the blitz as he's trying to run the screen right here. And we're gonna get the tackle. He did pick up like four yards right there, though. Oh, three. Second and seven, so we did pretty good against it. We are pass committing right here. I just want to see if Khalil Mack could come in screaming like he usually did before patch. And it looks like they did a good job blocking. That's crazy, man. I mean, I, I, I'm happy about it, though. Like, now I got to switch up on defense that they blocked that blitz with ease. But, like, I, I, I'm just so happy that they, they blocking it now because that's... What? That's just so good, dude. I, like, honestly, like, and yeah, that is my blitz that just got blocked. But I, I'm happy that it's getting blocked now because it didn't before. And that just means that we just got to switch up and we got to set up things differently on defense. And we got to we gotta adjust and we got to adapt and, you know, bullshit like that. Because that blitz was bullshit, you know. Um, even, sometimes even you block a running back on that side, they still wouldn't block. He, he blocked his running back on the opposite side. And he still blocked that blitz over there. So I'm kind of happy to see stuff like that because that's what should happen. Great job so far, Madden. I just don't like the game speed. That's it. Oh, shit. I got caught. Fucks. Yes. Over the hole. I'm, yo, I'm happy he caught it. I, I think it's cool that he caught it, but I'm kind of mad that he caught it. And he reached it. Oh, he's running, and that's gonna get stopped right at the line of scrimmage. It was supposed to be in the backfield, but he ran him over. I'll take that any day of the week. All right, let's go. This is play action. Send the pressure. Yes, we got to him in time before. I don't think my linebacker was gonna be able to run stride for stride with that wide receiver. So before Michael Vick was able to cock that thing back and throw a pause and throw a touchdown, we got to him. Play action again. Give me that shit! Oh, Paul Krause! Let's go! What a fucking pick right there! A few moments later.
Alright, I want to get some passing in. It looks like he's in a cover four or cover two. I want to get some passing in. Let's, let's see if we can throw to Adams. That is a cover four. How? A few moments later. Alright, looks like he's passing. We're going to pass commit right here. There you go, Eric Bear. He ran over. He breaks another tackle. He broke another one. Yo, know, Eric Berry wanted to take that for six so badly. Alright, let's go. We should be able to throw a dot way better right there. That's Adams. He's going to break the tackle and run for six. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We go up. 7-2-0. I don't know if you guys are paying attention, but Michael Vick has yet to complete a pass to his team. He's he's thrown um three picks. Throw two picks, three picks now. Let's go, Willie Brown. He is 0 for 4 now with three picks thrown. We are locking up on defense, man. Alright, we're looking for Adams right here. Ah, uh, I guess we're going to take off with Michael Vick. Slide down. Don't take a hit, Vick. Chill out, bro. Yeah, we're going to try to run this stretch to the right side right here. Hopefully, we can get some blocks. Cut up field. There you go. Go ahead and stay on your feet, young man. All right, this is looking like man coverage. So, we're going to look for Adams. It's not man coverage. It was zone. Throw to sharp. Get down. Don't take a big hit. All right, we're going to try to run this to the left side one more time. Let's see if that was just a fluke, and it looks like it was. Cut inside. You're a pussy for not... Yo, he didn't click on, dude. That's why I cut inside. I thought he was going to click on. He did not. He was like, nah, I want no responsibility. CPU, please bail me out. And they fucking did. Ah, uh, that's all right. I should have probably just ran his ass over, man, instead of trying to cut inside. Right now, we're going to look for Rob Gronkowski on this play, though. Let's see if we can get to him. What? All right, guys. So we're looking for Larry Fitzgerald on this play or Rob Gronkowski. Even at, um Adams, man. I don't know. We'll see right now. It's going to look like it's going to be Gronk. But we're not going to get a touchdown, man. We are going to take our three right here. Go up by two possessions, 10 to 0. At least I hope. Let's 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 try and make this field goal first. That, that kick is good. All right, so 10 to 0 Let's step back up on defense. Michael Vick has not been doing good against our defense. Come on. It's a pass. Nice pass. Oh, that hit stick, though. Age. Yo, OBJ just got rocked. He's motion. This is a pass play. Everybody's covered. Send the pressure. Fuck. <laughs> let's go. That's a pass play. That was my zone. Good shit. All right, come on. This is another run. Yo, I got to stop trying to dive, dude. Look at that. I was just tapping X on that, and I went further than me actually diving. There you go. Run play. Look at your Devion Clowney. Way to get in there, boy. It looks like my opponent doesn't want to play in this game anymore, man. He's starting to, like, really chew clock. Which, hey, whatever. Give me that pick, though. Don't mean you're going to score on me, bruh. Let's get it. All right, let's get it. There you go. Adams wide open. That's the first down. We get the fuck away from our own end zone. And we, we don't run the risk of having a safety anymore. All right, here we go. There you go. And that shark with the catch. All right, this is a cover four yet again. There you go. Dot to Adams. Let's call another timeout. We got 30 seconds remaining on the clock. All right, this is looking like a cover two, man. No, it's not. Oh, Adams scored it anyway. Was that a cover two or cover four? That was a cover four. We still got it. Now, that's what should happen because that cornerback was not in position. As soon as I called hike, he just ran back he was not in position to make that play even though he did stop on a dime even though he's not looking at the ball you know but that should have happened that catch i don't know about me running for six maybe i should have gotten caught but that catch was definitely legit thank you and that's adams with the touchdown
Let's go. There you go. Aaron is locked up. Oh, we win him this time. We win him this time. I'm going for the pick. I don't give a fuck. We're going for that pick, baby. Derek Johnson. All right, we're going to try to run this counter over to the left side of the field. We're going to motion Adams. All right, this is, he's in a cover two as well. There you go. There you go. Yo, I am enjoying that. It's like the running game is back, baby. The running game is back. I'm loving that, man. Leave it up to the user. This guy is a D-line user, right? He has to make adjustments on defense. He has to put people in position to make a play. And he has to user himself to, you know, try and make a play and stop the run or stop the pass. Look at the blocks. He's not going to click on. Step on his ass. Fuck, man. I'm enjoying this, man. I'm enjoying this. It feels like, you know, you have to step up on defense yourself. You just can't have, oh, I have a good player and he's just going to play good and he's just going to get crazy block sheds and just fuck everybody's face. You know what I mean? You got to put people in position, either put them inside, put them outside, have the defensive line shaded to the right, shaded to the left, be in a cover four so your safeties can play the run better. Um, You have to have a good fucking user to step up and hopefully you can shoot, shoot a gap and come in free. You know what I mean? Like, it's up to you. And that's how I feel right now with this run game, and I'm really fucking loving it. I hope they stick to this. You know, like, even, it's the same way for me. I'm going to have to step up on defense to stop the run. I'm going to have to make adjustments. I'm going to have to shade my line, crash, put this guy on the outside, put this guy on the inside, run a cover four, or just put a safety in a deep blue so it's like he alone is running a cover four, but not really. He's a quarter, you know what I mean? So he can play the run. Um, I'm talking fast just to fit this all in, but you guys, I hope you guys understand what I mean. We're cutting up field. Look at this. Look at this. You got to step up. I'm loving this shit right now, man. Make this game more fucking competitive. Make this game more user-based, EA. Don't fuck up, man. You're doing a good job. And right now, besides the game speed, I'm not having any fucking problems with this game. And I'm not having anything negative to say about this game. Please keep it that way, EA. I don't like to bash you motherfuckers. I, I truly don't, and I know it may seem like I do. I don't. I want a good game just like everyone else. That's why I choose to complain. That's why that should have been a pick. That's why I choose to continue to voice my opinion because I want a fucking good game. There's, There will be nothing done if we just sit around and accept mediocrity. We just sit around like, oh, it's just a video game. We'll never have a good game just saying, oh, it's just a video game. It can't be perfect. Let's just take it in our ass every fucking year. We'll, we'll, we'll never get shit done. We'll never get a fucking good game that way. You know what I mean? So I will continue to talk my shit. I will continue to use my platform to point out these flaws and hopefully we continue to grow so my voice and my opinions make more of a fucking impact on changing this game for the better. I don't want this game to die. You know what I mean? I make my money playing this fucking game. I don't want this game to die. I don't want the competitive scene. How did I miss that block? I don't want the competitive scene to die. The competitive scene is good, even if I'm not in the competitive scene, I'm on YouTube and Twitch, it's still good because it's still getting eyes on the game. I don't want none of this shit to die. And people people misconstrue and they, they, they twist shit and they think, oh, because I'm complaining about the game, I want this game to die. Or I want the competitive scene to die. I don't. I just want a good fucking game for everybody. I want a competitive game for everybody. I don't want casuals to come in and feel like they're good at the game or actually be good at the game. No, you got to put time in to get good at the game. You got to understand football concepts to be good at the game. That's what I want. That's what I want because this game will never be big, to be honest. And I'm just I'm just saying it. And the reason why this game will never be big is because this game is not international. I mean, they sell this game in other countries. But, you know, this, like, soccer and basketball is played all around the world. American football is just that. I mean, you can probably find it in other countries, but it's not a big thing. Amer it's American football. This game it will only be good here. This game, you know what I mean? Like, this is the core fan base here and here alone, you know? So, m like, in order for you to be invested into this game, you're invested into the sport of football. American football you're invested in it you love it you know about it you study it or you play it in real life or whatever you're 
hardcore, you know, your real fan base is hardcore fans of the sport of football. Cater to them. Cater to your hardcore fans. You know what I mean? Because casuals will always be there. They'll always try the game out. So you'll make your money from the casuals. But you'll keep your hardcore fans here playing this fucking game. Now I'm done with the goddamn let's make Madden great again speech. Let's go ahead and just continue to bust this guy's ass and get this win. Let's go! Send the pressure! Oh my god! Why is he open deep? That's my fault! Fuck! That's my fault, man, because when I was trying to make an adjustment on one of my defensive linemen, I went on the cornerback by accident, and I changed his play. I changed his, um, his zone, and then I had to, like, try and change it back. And when you do that to a DB, you change his zone, and then you put him in a deep blue. It's kind of like, it's a deep blue, but, like, more inside. And that's the reason why that, that receiver just got wide open like that. So I'm not even mad about that. But again, like that that's things you need to know. That's skill gap. You know what I mean? That's skill gap. I just didn't think he'd notice it. But, you know, I, I fucked up on that play. That's why I'm not mad about the touchdown. All right, we're going to try and run this ball. We're running a stretch to the right side. Look at that blocking. I'm loving it. I'm loving this blocking. Look at Gordon fighting forward, man. All right, here we go. Let's get this money. There you go. Squeeze that in. Pause. Ha! Sterling Sharp. You got to hold on to that, man. All right, all right. We're going to try and motion Larry Fitzgerald for an extra blocker. He's in a nickel defense. We should be able to run the ball with ease. And there you have it, man. Look at it, yo. I'm loving it. You see how I motioned my wide receiver for an extra blocker? I already had numbers on the right side. But then I have even more numbers because I motioned my wide receiver. And he, he left. He didn't adjust. He left his cornerback, his slot cornerback, on the left side. He didn't follow me. He based aligned. You know what I mean? And that's just, that skill gap right there. You got to know. You got to know numbers without EA having the fucking green and red shit. You just got to know. All this fucking holding hands, trying to make this game more casual so more people can play it. Fuck that bullshit, man. Make this game hard. You have to understand football to be able to be good at this game. And you will fucking, like... Just cater to the hardcore fans because the casual fans will always come around. Hard, you don't want to lose hardcore fans because hardcore fans are the ones that put the time in playing this game. They, they, they're the ones that play in these tournaments. They're the ones that spend the most money. You want to cater to these guys, man. Let's try and run this rock again. Now, it looks like he's in a 4-4 defense. We're going to try and run right up the gut. I don't see this ending well, but the run game has been working for us so far. Let's see if it can continue. All right, we get the first down. You seen the block shed from the defensive end. I'm okay with that. I'm in a three receiver formation, you know, trying to run the ball against a uh, four four. He was in a cover three match though, so the cover three match is kind of like man coverage for the most part. To be honest, um, a lot of people don't know that, but you know, it, it, cover three match is, 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 is you know they they switch off and they play man coverage. Um, even the the deep blues, so. Um, you know, and a 4-4 defense is, is definitely way better to try and stop the run, you know, especially in a, in a three receiver set. So I'm not really mad about it. And that's, that's, that's what I like to see, man. You just got to make adjustments and you got to know football. You got to understand, you got to know numbers on each side and you got to understand just, you got to have football knowledge. And that's just all I want for this game, man. Cause I have a lot of motherfucking football knowledge. There you go. There you go. Come on, baby. I have a, a lot of football knowledge, and I just want it to cater. I, I just want it to transfer over to Madden. You know what I mean? That'd be fucking fantastic. Look at the man coverage, because he's in a cover three. I bet he's in a cover three match. Good shit, Adams. I bet he's in a cover three match. Oh, cover two invert. All right. Well, I was wrong, but hey, man coverage regardless, man. They patched it that they're, you're more likely, when you do that jump over the line, you're more likely to fumble. That was one of the things in the patch notes. So let's let's try it. I know Gordon ain't going to get the, the animations like Jimmy Graham, but we're going to try it anyway, man. Okay. All right. I'm not too mad about it, man, because like I said, I said it even before I fucking jumped. That they made it more likely for you to fumble when you jump over the line and hit a player. You're more likely to fumble. So I'm okay with that. You just got to make sure when you do it, you don't hit a player. 
you know, and, and everything will be fine. Nice run by my opponent, man. We're going to go to the two-minute warning. Come on. Send the pressure. Oh, my God. Willie Brown. That's a C route. Willie Brown, you, gotta, you can't just drop back like that, bro. All right. A pass. My guy was blitz. Oh, Eric Berry with another pick. I forgot to change my player because he's usually blitzing. But that's the fucking ball game, man. Good game to my opponent. We ended up busting his ass. But, you know, like I said, we were tr we were trying things out, trying things new, trying to um, adapt to this patch. I'm, I'm liking this patch so far. I'm liking that the run game is a lot better as we get stuffed in the backfield right there. I'm liking that the run game is a lot better, man. Um, I'm enjoying this game so far. Let me know how you guys feel about this patch in the comment section, man. Because I know there's a lot of mixed reviews about it. Um, but hopefully you guys are enjoying it as much as I am right now. As we run this toss, my lineman missed his fucking block. That would have been a touchdown, man. But that's gonna that's gonna be it for over here, guys. I do hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like. If you guys want a chance to win Devontae Adams in this video, we are giving him away. Oh, what the fuck? We are giving him away. All you guys got to do is make sure you're subscribed. Hit that like button and comment down below with your guys' PSNs. I will be picking a winner very soon, guys. Thank you for all the support. Again, let me know how y'all feel about the patch in the comment section as well. And I will see y'all on the next one. I'm out of here.